Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Promise Neverland season 2 episode number 7. Okay, so uh the previous episode we um got a few things uh like how like we kind of got how um uh, Norman is like alive, like he was like he did a few things which was you know uh verbally said in the previous episode i'm not sure uh if they're going to show us norma's past or not or there like there's no such thing in the manga or are they skipping it i'm not even sure at this point so like that was uh like that happened but i felt as if it was you know kind of like rushed in a way like how they kind of explained a normal situation how he saved uh, a few kids and how like stuff happened they kind of you know kind of i think they kind of brushed past it or something or maybe i'm wrong maybe this is the way the manga like had it or they took some liberties and are skipping stuff i'm not sure anyways uh that and also in the end we saw like uh, oh and uh, like emma is kind of changing now like after seeing uh, mujika and sonju she is like she now thinks that yeah like a uh, few uh, demons are you know good good demons they're also good demons so should we kill all of them uh, or like we should uh, try to you know negotiate and come to an agreement or something and like the peaceful settlement between all of them like she's thinking in that way now which obviously Norman is not happy about I think so and also in the end when uh, Emma like talked about Mujika Norman said something about the evil-eyed girl or something along that, those lines. So she, he knows her, that means. So let's see what uh, like Mujika is actually about. Like why did Norman suddenly freak out hearing her name? So yeah, let's get started with episode number uh, 7 of Promise Neverland season 2. So I'll be putting the subtitles and the timer here. Sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started. Okay, so here's the countdown. Three, two, one, go. All right. Okay. Okay, uh, a few people are added. The Norman's friends, they're added in that group, I can see. Yeah. So they're going to join them? Like, I was not really sure that they would join them or not. Like, they kind of seemed as if they are really not, you know, digging Emma's plan. <laughs> Obviously, they don't know what Emma is planning, but still. Okay, so there's Sonju and Mujika. Evil blooded girl. Hmm, okay. Oh, so, so he knows. Oh, oh, oh 700. Oh, damn. Save you. She could give her powers to others. Oh. 
Wait, what? So. Oh, yeah, like. Oh, okay. Oh, my. Okay. All right. Yeah, like, uh, if they eat, yeah, they'll also gain that, you, you know. Oh, okay, wait. Anyways, um, yeah, they want to eat. That's, yeah, that's the. Uh, Oh, okay. Damn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they just want to eat eat people and, you know, and to be the rulers. Hmm. The gender. Oh. Oh my God. Norman isn't even thinking about. Oh yeah. Yep. Um. That is. Okay, he's telling them. Okay, let's see how he reacts. Um... Um... Norman... Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, it's kind of true. Oh, boy. Yeah, it's kind of true, you know, like you need some rules. I think the humans will also not accept them in a way, you know? I don't think so. Wait, what? Once existed. Oh, so it's no use. Hmm. Oh, great. Haha. <laughs> so they were already <laughs> sitting in a place which they could go. <laughs> um. Uh. Yes, that was what I was saying. They won't accept. Mm, yeah, kind of thought. Oh, this is not something that I thought. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, this is some kind of card.
<sighs> okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Okay, like... Well, like, kind of expected this, like, he won't really budge. Okay, let's see. Ten days. Hmm. What? Six. Okay, five. <laughs> okay. What the? Who the hell? What the hell is this cardboard box guy? Hmm. Okay, let's go. Now, um, Oh my god, calm down. Okay. Oh, what the hell was... What's... What the hell is within that thing? Like... Uh... What... What? Lambda Caesar Caesar Oh Oh the experimentation okay uh Mm. 
Well, uh, okay, they didn't show us. <laughs> yeah, this is the question. Will he really do it? Oh boy, yep. Which I'm also not sure is if it is cur oh my god, they have what the Well Oh my god. Okay, you you kids don't do anything. Oh my god, I, I'm sure they're they're gonna do something. Or not? Okay, <laughs> I thought maybe they're going to go hunting or something. Okay. Mm. Yeah. Like I'm sure you know a few of them are not you know bad. Mm, yeah. Like Like if one day fishes suddenly start thinking that I will kill humans because they eat us, what will happen? Something like that. <laughs> like you know you have to consume food to live. It's a part of life. But obviously... Hmm. Yeah. Well, the kids will, you know, uh, I'm sure they'll... Oh, oh. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, she's thinking about Emma, like she is, you know, doing each and everything kind of Supporting them. So, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm.
<laughs> yeah, like so, like so normal things that because I was shipped, they were able to run away. So like he's thinking that yeah, I I also have to do something like that again. Like you know, take the burden as Emma is saying. So that's the, what uh, Emma and Ray doesn't want. All right. <laughs> Good question. Oh. Okay, yeah. Um, uh, okay, let's see what Norman is doing. Oh, he is also suffering from, I'm guessing, the experimentation. Oh. But he said that he was not expen- Oh, so he, I, I'm guessing he, most probably he lied or something. Okay. Okay, we're going to see what happened after that. Yeah, maybe they're going to show us. Okay, this is where they, you know, kind of stopped in the previous season. Uh... Oh wow, they're not going to show again. <laughs> I really hope they show us in the next episode. If they don't... <laughs> I think they'll show us, you know, uh, most probably. Okay, so, all right, this episode kind of, you know, um, gave a few other information about a few other stuff. Uh, the whole thing with Mujika and Sonju. And, like, I'm gonna check one portion out. Like, they said something about consuming the blood and then becoming them like them. Or something like that. Like, they took her blood or something they said. I have to check that portion out again because there is a little confusion there. And also another thing, like I thought maybe Norman, you know, became yeah, <laughs> like you know, as usually a few animes does, like they completely change and become, you know, evil. It turns out it's not the case. Like he's kind of doing the same thing again, like which he did. Uh, in previous season with the whole ex escape plan like him sacrificing himself kind of to help them escape so also he, like he's again doing something along those lines so yeah he, he like he is still the same 
so all right is there something else nope all right so um excuse me so first of all um the whole thing with mujika just a sec um with a sip yeah here it is uh, with just a sip of her blood a demon could obtain the same body composition as her all right uh, and then they also gain the ability to create the same kind of demons with their own blood so mujika's blood goes into a, one demon he becomes like he consumes it and he becomes a demon who doesn't need to consume human flesh and can stop degrading okay he then uses his blood to do the same thing okay that i can understand so yeah uh, they don't de degenerate even within without eating humans okay after the surrounding community shared her powers and escaping famine and exception but the king and nobles who found out captured all of the affected demons and killed and ate everyone with that blood all right so here's the thing like he's saying that he killed and ate them that means like if you like if they eat them like the nobles and the kings like obviously they'll consume their blood and that means they will gain that type of a body you know all right so i'm guessing they did that because for two reasons number one is that as like uh no one said that they don't want them to you know uh increase so that they can have the uh like like they can use the you know uh like there's something that norman mentioned here that they can uh kind of not bait but kind of use that like use the human uh like the whole farming system that they do with the human they can use that to their advantage and control the other people like for example they can say like oh you like you are not doing your work you won't get your human shipment and then said like oh you you did an amazing job this uh like this month you'll get the double the shipment that you usually get like that they can control them and also like do other stuff but at the same time they themselves because they consumed the blood they won't need to you know consume human meat because of that and they, they won't degenerate that's a plus point for them but i'm sure they will still partake in eating human flesh because you know they're nobles and kings <laughs> usually they are kind of like that you know kind of prideful kind of uh, cruel kind of uh, mm, bad uh, and in this case they're demons so i'm sure like they kind of saw their own you know uh advantages in doing this by killing uh, all of them and using this opportunity f uh, opportunity for themselves and roman says that uh records state that she was also eaten and killed mujika now maybe like there are a few uh like things that this could have had gone uh either like mujika ran away you know or maybe the kings and nobles spared her because you know she has more uses because obviously she is an exceptional you know person like she is the only person whose blood can uh, make other people like her so she is like the you know um the centerpiece of everyone so killing her is kind of foolish i'm sure like uh, the kings and nobles kind of thought it that way or maybe she ran away anything can go i'm not sure but it turns out she did not die and she's still living and another thing that uh, norma said that is extremely true is even if the demons become like mujika there's no you know like there's no guarantee that they would kill humans like um like who knows like, like as like they might think that yeah like uh, even if they don't degenerate they will still eat and kill humans if they want to like there are a few uh, like not a few but most of the demons i'm sure like they will not think about the morality like i'm i doubt like mo human morality exists in them so even if a few of them will you know kind of be sympathetic and won't consume humans the majority will still you know continue consuming 
so like that was the point that norman made and i'm like he's correct you know so now so what should we do um i can find like i, I can see that there are a few you know paths that uh like a few solutions for this problem number one is like uh rules you know like they can make some like some kind of rules which state that you should not consume human meat uh like unless and until you know um like you need it something like that you know like you should not consume it for fun you should not consume it for its taste like like if you were you know you really need it you are dying or something like that then you might consume human meat but that also like there's there should be a condition with it like that also they should consume human meat who has like you know who has already passed away like humans like i think that is can be kind of you know accepted in a way because obviously like consuming the dead body is not something morally you know correct but like th they have no choice here so like if you like you know look at the well-being of the demons as well which emma is doing like you can make some kind of a rule like that but the question is who would even make these rules like to make these rules you have to topple the upper people you know the upper demons who are sitting and making you know ruling the demon world you have to like you know destroy them or something topple them topple the government the demon government or something like that and take a position in it something like that so i think that's quite difficult for them to do but who knows and yeah and um also we kind of saw the like normans other you know the new friends of normans them like they were i'm guessing the side effects that they're having are because of the experimentation that were performed on them and uh norman said that he was spared from that but he was kind of coughing blood up in the end so i'm guessing he lied or something else happened to him i don't know so yeah and um also another thing that we saw in this episode was a demon that was you know kind of like an kind of staked you know with you know, rods and everything and they are like keeping you like demon body parts in jars just like like demons did for human body parts you know i'm not sure what that is about like why are they doing this i'm sure there's a reason for this i don't i don't know but yeah and Yeah, and also um, now Sonju and Mujika. Like I'm not sure about Sonju, but Mujika seemed pretty, you know, um, understandable. She seemed like she would probably try to understand the problems and try to help them. I'm not sure. I'm just like talking with on first impressions. <laughs> she might completely turn out different, or I don't know. Uh, but Sonju was kind of, you know, um, different. Like, he has his own plan about, you know, in one of the previous episodes, they kind of explained, like Sonju explained, that he wants them to, like, run around in the fields and, like, he will hunt them or something along those lines. So it will not go against their religion, something like that, he said. So, <laughs> I'm not sure what to feel about that, but, oh well and hmm, what's that? oh also another thing i want to like say that uh like the other people like the normal's new friends obviously they are you know extremely against the whole thing with saving demons which i'm sure that they have a reason for like obviously they have been you know kind of treated badly experimented upon a lot of bad things have happened to them now here's the thing you know um like i really cannot blame them because obviously as i said that they have been treated extremely badly and by the demons they must have been you know experimented upon and like kind of treated 
in a way like you cannot even imagine but emma and his her other friends her family members uh, who were in the orphanage under isabella they have not like i'm sure like they have not even you know been treated as badly as they have like uh, like not badly even like they were treated extremely well by isabella you know like they had their own like everything like they played around they had uh, good food uh, like two i think three three meals a day or something like that and they had good exercise they like had fun playing around isabella took care of them uh, like their own like their own mother and all of that but in the end they died like here's the thing like isabella isabella was under the you know uh, like isabella had this kind of a thought process like she thought that yeah we cannot escape from this situation so like i'll make it you know uh, unless and until the day comes that they're going to be shipped out i'll make sure that they have the perfect childhood so she did her best to take care of the kids to you know uh, expend time happily unless and until the time came that they are going to be shipped out so that was their life all of them you know all of the people here uh, all of the kids here like uh, emma's uh, like emma dawn gilda and all of the other children ray like they were kind of treated like that i'm sure that no, like normal's new friends and norman as well have been treated way worse than emma and the kids have been treated so here comes the question if if emma and like you know the kids were also treated the same way norman and his new friends have been treated would she still be able to say something like that that we will not kill the demons like you know like this is the question here like i don't think like emma would be able to say something like this i'm not sure like i'm just you know just just saying that if they like were treated the same way norman and his friends were treated i doubt uh, the kindness that Emma has in her heart now would have been there. I don't know, but I think so. Like, you know, experiences kind of make a person. It's the same thing. Like, uh, the experience that Emma and Norman, uh, uh, not Norman, Emma Ray and all of them, like, grew up with is extremely good, you know, comparing it to other, like, other children and other orphanages or in other you know uh, this experimentation facility all of these so <laughs> like in a way it's kind of you know like like emma the thing that emma is saying is kind of not so like it's like i don't know what to say like uh, I, I like anyways you, you guys can understand what i'm trying to say i hope so like <laughs> so yeah like this is just emma speaking because like she has never been like mistreated by uh you know anyone else like obviously they had some bad experiences they saw their like you know their brothers and sisters being killed in front of them uh, the whole thing with connie and like all of these things were traumatizing but they like even without that they had a good childhood so that's why i think they can be empathetic towards you know demons because the demons like obviously they have not seen the cruelty of the demons but these kids have norman's friends have so that's why they are so hostile towards the demons i don't blame them you know i really don't blame them so yeah and also in the end we saw like we're going to be shown uh, what happened to norman and there's this I don't know the, the voice of a man in the end who says that welcome or something like that to Norman. So I'm I'm guessing they'll show us what happened in the next episode. So yeah, let's just wait. So yeah, guys, that was it. That was Promised Neverland, uh, season two, episode number seven. So yeah, guys, if you guys enjoyed my reaction, press the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed. Comment down below anything you want to say or anything in general. I'll be sure to check them out. So yeah guys, um, I'll be back with another episode of Promise Neverland Season 2 next week, same time. So until then, goodbye and have a nice day.